you guys? It's Megan. Welcome back to my channel, PG Squad. Today, I am very excited because we are watching another Darman video. This one is titled, Dad Abandons Autistic Child and He Lives to Regret It. This is something I could actually see somebody living to regret. I am sorry to keep you both waiting. You might want to have a seat for this. Why, is something wrong? Well, at this stage, it's still a little too early to know for sure. They put the girl with the two colored eyes in a wig. They were like, we have to start changing this up. Based on the initial assessment, there is a high likelihood that your son may be on the autism spectrum. You know, autism is not- I know what autism is, doctor. I'm a professor at a university, for crying out loud. I can't believe this, Gwen. But like, the face was immediately negative that he made. Like, he was like, ah, oh, dang it. I don't think autism is a bad thing. You know who's autistic? Elon Musk. And I think he's like the world's richest man now. I can't believe this, Gwen. I told you that he should have been more responsive to his name by now. Oh my goodness. Does that mean he's not healthy? No, don't worry. He's perfectly fine. He might just have a little harder time learning certain things compared to other kids. That's all. That's all. Look, I know it's a lot to take in. I'll give you two some time. I think if I was told my child was autistic, I'd be like, okay, thanks for letting me know. Now I know, like, that we're just gonna do things a little bit differently. It doesn't seem like the worst thing in the world, as this dad is pretending it is. <laughs> Can't believe this. So what are we gonna do now? What do you mean? He's our son. We're gonna stand by his side no matter what. Come on, Gwen. I'm a top professor at the most prestigious university in the country. I can't have a son that has learning issues. I need a smart child I can be proud of, not one with autism. Okay, hold on. History's 30 most inspiring people on the autism spectrum. Here you guys go. Charles Darwin, Albert Einstein. Are you serious? Are you, are you serious? Read this list. Michelangelo, Wolfgang. I need a smart child I can be proud of, not one with autism. And if he's, if, if, if he's the professor of a very prestigious university, don't you think he would know this stuff? Look, we could have another kid. What? I know this isn't easy, but- Another one? We have to give him up for adoption. <gasps> what? We are not giving up on Chance. We're his parents. Besides, just because someone has autism, it doesn't make them any less intelligent. I'm not gonna argue about this, Gwen. It's either him or me. Now I decide. Decision made. You know I can't make that decision. Please. She's a good actor. I want to know the girl with the two eye colored names so I can address her as her name because they never give these characters names. That's like not fun. And boy, bye. Goodbye. This is your last chance, Gwen. Ew. You either give him up for adoption or I'm gone. See you later, What's idiot. It gonna be? Oh, she's a sweetie. She's Fine. Crying. Have a nice life. Okay. <gasps> I can't wait for this guy to become Elon Musk. And then the dad who abandoned him gets nothing. Gwen is devastated. She can't believe her husband just walked out on them. Yeah. Her ex-husband moves on and quickly forgets all about Gwen. This is something I've never understood. People who have children and then can just like be like, bye, and then start a whole new life. Like you didn't just bring a life onto this planet. In no time, he meets another woman and finds out they're having a baby boy together. He's so excited. A lot of years pass and Alan spends a lot of time helping his new son Samuel become a very successful student. Samuel constantly gets A's in all of his classes, and he even gets a near-perfect score on the SAT. Samuel does so- Just watch. Samuel is autistic. Samuel does so well that he ends up getting nominated for a full-ride scholarship to a very prestigious university. Darman scholarship! Alan Good job, Darman. Love that you're giving out the scholarships. That's cool. Alan could not be any more proud of his son. They both get ready to attend the scholarship ceremony. Hello, are you here for the Darman scholarship ceremony? Actually, uh, my son's been nominated. He scored in the top one percentile on the SAT. 
Wow, that's very impressive. Well, go ahead and take a seat. We'll be announcing the winner momentarily. Thank you. Great. It's gonna be his other son. Ooh. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, okay. and welcome to the third annual Darman Scholarship Awards. Yeah. We will be awarding our highest scholarship to a very special student who scored the highest on the SATs. And we are so honored to announce that the winner of this year's Darman Scholarship is Chance Wilson. <laughs> That's so awkward. He was about to get up. It's like in, in SpongeBob, the SpongeBob movie, the original movie, where it's like, and the winner of the promotion is, and um, SpongeBob is like, yeah, woo, woo. And then it's like, it's Squidward. Shudder. Ugh. Look at their faces. Like, what? A kid with autism? Mm hmm. That's right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Th this is a mistake. Dad, stop. No, this is ridiculous. My son scored 1590 on the SATs. I thought this was a scholarship for the, for the smartest kid in the country. Well, actually, it is. Why don't we let Chance tell his story? Weirdo. Go ahead, Chance. Hello, everyone. This is such an honor. I never dreamed of standing here to accept this award tonight. It would have never been possible if it wasn't for my mom. You never gave up on me. <sighs> you see, ever since I can remember, I've struggled with autism. <gasps> Not Goodwill Wilson. I know I don't see Goodwill Wilson bullying some people. In case you're new here, good, he played he played a kid that was bullied for wearing Goodwill in a different short. I am not calling him Goodwill Wilson. That was just his nickname in the other short. And now he's bullying people? Come on. People always treat me differently and thought I wasn't smart enough. I even found out that my own dad gave up on me because of it. But my mom never gave up on me. Yeah. Every night, she would read with me and patiently help me learn. She never once made me feel like I was less intelligent than the other kids. Because of her, I started doing really well in school. Aww. So well that I began getting straight A's in all my classes and ended up as one of the top students in the country. So you see, because my mom never gave up on me. Aww. I never gave up on myself. Aww. And I ended up getting a 1600 on the SAT. So take that, Sam Smith, and stick it in your juice box and suck it. That was aggressive. I'm sorry. I did. Wait, Sam Smith. Sorry. Sam Smith was like, Dad, stop. Don't be mean. So Sam Smith's dad. I'm watching you, bud. Perfect score. 1600 on the SAT. Perfect score. I have my SAT scores. Do you want to see them? Are they in this folder here? My mom kept everything for me. I don't know how to read these. And I think that's a very telling to what my score was. I don't suppose that they add up the points. I don't know what scale this was on, but I remember doing brutally awful. And look where I am today. Reacted to content on YouTube because I'm not good at math. Science, reading, heavily dyslexic. And there's a way. With there's a will, there's a way. More importantly, I proved that just because you have autism, it doesn't make you any less intelligent. Oh, good for you, Sam Smith. Isn't that the name of a singer? feel bad. You don't get to clap. No, no, no. You don't get to clap. What would have been even sweeter is if Gwen, the mom, went up and rubbed it in his face. Good thing you left. You were holding us back. Thank you guys for watching today's Darman video. I appreciate it. If you guys want to watch the full video, it is, it's, it's on Darman's channel. I know a lot of people comment that like, I'm annoying and I talk too much, but that's kind of the point. If you want to watch it unpaused on everything, it's over on Darman's channel. He uploads a few times a week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Do not forget to hashtag stay PG, stay kind, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.